appreciate everyone coming out today for an update on the convention hotel project. We stand here today with the public's commitment ready for closing and a construction company that's ready to close streets and begin work on our project. However, today I need to announce that the city cannot move forward with the construction the hotel project as we know it today. Following recent discussion with our partners HCW, uh, it is apparent that the deal as it's currently structured cannot move ahead. The only way for this deal to pr uh, proceed would be to infuse additional public funds into it, and that is not an option. The project, as originally proposed, would have worked financially. However, the line that was drawn in the sound by the City Council made that impossible, thus the need for the infusion uh, of private sector funding. That's where Bob Jones and his team at Old National made, I have to tell you, a Herculean effort to try and make this project work. Our immediate focus now shifts to the Indiana General Assembly where this uh, budget process will soon begin. Our focus is making sure that the funding for the medical school project is in place. We have uh, been reassured by legislative leadership. We've been reassured by members of the administration that it will happen, but nonetheless we'll be there uh, as often as possible to make sure that that money is secured so the medical school project will proceed. On a parallel path, the city will work with our friends at Old National to find a new path toward success on this project. Uh, this is a uh, disappointing delay, uh, but it's not a defeat. We cannot look at it as a defeat. We are fully committed to building a full service convention hotel in downtown Evansville. It is what we need and we'll find a path to victory, I assure you. Uh, we're here today because we have a great partnership between the business community and the labor community. And with that, that continued partnership will ensure our success in the years to come. So, uh, and lastly, let me just say that uh, I greatly appreciate and will never forget uh, all the people who came out to support this project in the last couple of years. We had six meetings around the city, and the overwhelming sentiment at those meetings was that we want this project. It's not a mayor's pet project. People realize that this is an important project for the economic viability of our city. Uh, so I appreciate all those who came out to lend their support and to all those people, I will not forget that support and will continue to fight for a con full service convention hotel. With that, I'd like to ask uh, Bob Jones from Old National to step up and uh, offer some comments as well. Thank you, Mayor. First, I'd like to begin by thanking the Mayor for his extraordinary leadership. As a guy that sits in a chair that he sits in every day, difficult decisions are tough. But you applaud leaders that make tough, difficult decisions. And Mayor, thank you. I want to start my statements with just a few remarks and a few statements. First and foremost, Old National Bank remains committed to supporting a downtown convention hotel. Our community deserves one, and we look forward to working with the mayor and other leaders to make that happen. Secondly, we also remain committed to our investment and our commitment to the Old National Event Center. We will work with the county commissioners to make sure that happens as well. Plus, I join the mayor in pledging our unequivocal support to our brothers and sisters in the unions. They are an integral part of our community and quite frankly, they deserve the right to build a convention hotel. It is important to give some background on how we got to this point. As many of you are aware, the project was rebid this summer, and in August of that year, August we refilled the bids, and it showed a shortfall of approximately six and a half million dollars. At that time, the mayor, as he is today, was adamant that there was no additional public funding available, and that was not an option. Thus, the burden to close that shortfall fell on HCW and Old National Bank. I will tell you, over the last 90 days, both HCW and Old National have worked diligently to meet this shortfall, and unfortunately, as the mayor said, we cannot do it under these conditions. Are we disappointed? Absolutely. This has been our home for 180 years as an institution. This community deserves a convention hotel. This community deserves to continue the great momentum that we've seen especially in light of all the other developments. Pat Shoulders, trustee with IU, is here with us today. 
He has assured us that IU is as committed to the downtown project as they have before. The hotel had no bearing on their decision. Their decision was based on the quality of life in downtown Evansville. But I would view this as not a dead end. This is a bump in the road, folks. I'm committed to work with the mayor, those in council that want to work with us to make this happen. Again, I go back to it. The citizens of our community, the folks here, deserve a quality downtown convention hotel, and we will make it happen. Our brothers and sisters in labor deserve the right to build that hotel. And I look forward to the day when we get that done. Mayor? We have to take questions. Where does the city's partnership with HCW stand? What has Mr. Huffman said about all this? I had uh, two conversations with Rick Huffman from HCW uh, yesterday. Very good, professional, uh, productive uh, conversations. He understands the situation, and uh, we'll, we will essentially begin unwinding that relationship. So if you move forward on a project, it will not be with HCW? Or they, could, it could that be, part it, of it? they could be part of a future development. You know, we're still absorbing a lot of this. I mean, this has literally just happened. Um, we've really gotten to the crunch time just really in the last few days. So to the extent that um, we're still absorbing all this, we haven't made all the, we don't know all of our next steps. <clears throat> but we do know that we remain committed to a full service convention hotel. Our city needs it. For those of us who maybe walked in a minute or two late, can you tell us exactly why uh, why the project is uh, <laughs> stalled at this point? You know, I apologize. Um, so as you know, the project was rebid. Mm -hmm. And during that rebid, there was a six and a half million dollar shortfall. Uh, the mayor was adamant there were no more public funds available, and I think council was pretty adamant in that as well. Uh, we've worked over the period of time to try to cover that shortfall. The burden fell on us in HCW, and quite frankly, we just couldn't make the numbers work. <coughs> what about the, the naming rights uh, to what used to be the convention center? Uh, we're still committed to doing that. Uh, you know, we're a public company. We have to look at this as an investment. As we looked at it as an investment, we tried to cover that shortfall, and it just it wouldn't happen. So you have a study that shows that the, uh, the naming rights will not uh, raise the kind of revenue you're hoping for? Well, you understand that the naming rights were part of the total commitment we made. A large part of that was also our investment in the hotel. How short are you in terms of the, the financing pie? How much more? Well, I think the six and a half million dollars is a good figure. So where does the process go from here, Mr. Mayor? Well, uh, we're, we're back to the drawing board in many cases. Uh, let me tell you that some of the work that has been done at that site can be carried over into a new project. For instance, we've done uh, site work, geotech work, if you will, uh, at that area. So a lot of that kind of work can be carried over into a new project going forward. So uh, again, we're, uh, we're absorbing a lot of this as we speak, with breaking news, if you will. And uh, so we're trying to figure out exactly uh, what to do next. But uh, with a partnership of Old National, with a partnership of uh, our Common Council, two of which two of our members are here today, Missy Mosby and Jonathan Weaver, uh, we'll find a new partner. And again, it could be HGW, but we'll find a, a project that uh, that will work in downtown. Is any of the med some of the medical school project predicated on the hotel also getting done? I know that there is discussion, for example, of sharing some of the parking. There is a parking issue that we need to resolve, but it's uh, we're confident we can, we can figure that out. We committed a specific number of parking spots for the medical school project. They didn't necessarily all have to be, uh, I think they were in five or six spots, including the hotel parking garage. So uh, I think we can accommodate the spaces uh, in other locations. You say some work has been done there at the site. What has been done that uh I mean, obviously, we don't see any, any real structures yet, but what can be done there that can be You'd done? You'd have to ask HCW about the specifics that, that have been done there. I would, that would be sort of out of my wheelhouse. And can you just give us an update on the IU Med Center? It's still going. It had nothing to do with the hotel progress. Yeah, Trustee Shoulders is here if you'd like to speak mm -hmm. to that. But we've been assured by the folks at IU that the selection of downtown was not predicated on the, conven on the convention of the stealth project. Indiana University had the luxury of having four very viable and uh, great project proposals for the downtown. It selected downtown Evansville based upon the leadership, 
creativity and imagination of this mayor and all the people who came together, both of our health care partners, both hospitals, the students, the downtown community, and, and corporate citizens like Old National Bank, I can assure you that the viability of that hotel plays no part in the analysis or selection of a site for the medical center. And if the legislature does their job, as the mayor and his team have done their job, we'll break ground on that medical center next summer. The mayor was building a smaller hotel, and I've talked to Mr. Warren about this, and probably you too quite a bit, but was building a smaller hotel an option? If you think back to the study that Hunden Association Hundred and Associates did for the city back uh, a year or so ago. It really suggested that we needed a hotel in the range of 240 to 270 rooms to be viable in the convention and market uh, meeting business. So we feel that's that's valid. We don't want to build uh, anything smaller than 240 rooms. The data, and we're, we're big believers in data, the data shows that we need a convention hotel uh, that is no no smaller than 240 rooms. the process has been really quite long since the executive end disappeared um, how does it feel to see that lot remain vacant now after uh, so many years it, you know, it's disappointing I mean there's no way to hide uh, disappointment but as I said earlier disappointment does not equal defeat we just we go back to the drawing board you know, the council has said in the past and we had a long debate about this months no more public funding beyond 20 million. Are you now saying that you agree with that also? In other words, there will not be any requests uh, down the hall to the city council for any more public funding. That's a non-issue. I'm saying we are not requesting additional public funding, and I'm saying that I understood the council's uh, marching orders very distinctly, a $20 million cap. Does that public funding go somewhere else now, or does it just kind of sit and wait for maybe another hotel project? To well, we won't go to the bond market. We won't need $20 million, so uh, we'll go back to the drawing board and come up with another project, and uh, we hope that $20 million will be available uh, for a new project. Thank you very much. Have Thank a great you. holiday season. Thank you. Appreciate it.